live from Killer Queens. Uh, that's how real it is right now. First of all, what's wrong with this kitchen? It's too gunkame, yo. It's too dark. Hold up. It's serious when I bring the Kumon lamp. These joints look like Korean girl legs, you know what I mean? Till you turn on the light, you're like, oh, okay, daikon, I got it. Now we're ready to go. Illuminate the kitchen. You have a better cooking experience. For Valentine's Day, I'm gonna make my girls some braised mackerel. Let's get it. Turn up. Right here is mackerel, my friend. Shout out to U Street Market in Woodside, you know what I mean? They keep it fresh at all times. Hey, babe, do you like the heads or no? Okay. I'm gonna throw it away, but there's mad meat. They gypped us. I'm gonna cut it right here. I know some of y'all can relate with me. There's two types of Korean parents, yo. They're the ones that'll be like, okay, this is done, you know, you don't need this. Or people like my dad, like, you get chill, much. This is the best part right here. The more disgusting it is, it's the best part. Save it for tomorrow. Next, you slice up the daikon. You know, usually I use the mbu, the Korean radish, because it's a conference pause. But, you know, you don't want to make it too thin, so it's going to break into liquid. You want to make it thick enough so it absorbs all the kumu, you know what I mean? All the soup. That's perfect right there. All right, next, you stack the daikon in the pot, you know? I made it nice kaleidoscopy. It's, it's pretty. You take the healthy chunks of onion right here, you know, crumble it up, make sure you get it in there. Bam. Put the fish on top. Radish, onion, fish, in that order. Okay, we got the little trifecta heating, you know, at low heat. Just to soften up everything. We're gonna go over here, make the sauce. Easy, ready? Soy sauce, number one. Get that glimmer. Garlic, sugar, red pepper flakes. A little bit of water, right? Pour that all over this, you know. Bam. Yep, we good. Now, this is personal preference right here. I like to keep my garlic pieces nice and big like that. I didn't mince it too well because I like the flavor explosion. Okay, now we turn it up to high right now. You know, we don't have a lid right now, but you know, don't judge me. When you when you put the plate on, in Korean, we hear that bagul bagul. You hear that? That's the business. You let it do the work. All right, while this is cooking, yo, you don't touch it. Just let it do the work. Let me talk to you fellas real quick. Mincing is easy. Once you learn this little rock about motion, you look mad mushy so doing it. And ladies, at my age, it doesn't matter if you're cute. The question is, do you mince? The trick to this dish is you gotta multitask. You know, while that's while that's working right there, you know, I got the green peppers. Usually I should have some pie, you know, some green onion, but my girl don't like onions. I got some fat onions in there, that's fine. Red peppers, we didn't have any, but that's just for color. That's for show, don't worry about it. Okay, peep this. By now, right? If, if everything's right, the measurements was good, the infusion is happening, the smell should be, the smell should be explosive. And usually that's when the creepers come out, you know what I mean? What have you done? My goodness, now look. This is the most important part right here. See this? This is called recycling the soup. I strained, is that the right word? I strained the soup, and I'm gonna take its own flavor and have it bathe in it again. You know what I mean? Get all the little spots. Oh my god, look at that bagel bagel right there, yo. Do the green peppers in there, you know, cover it up again. Let the soup thicken. You know, you spill a little bit, don't worry about it. Just, just, just clean it up. Peace and tranquility, it happens, it happens. Cleanliness, make sure your kitchen's all I consider this the final stretch right here, the final sprint. You know, I put it on extra high. I crack it a little bit, you know what I mean? So the evaporation happens. Lose some of the soup. And then it's gonna get nice and thick and gelatinous, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the beautiful cycle, look, we're here now. And look at this, clean. Like nothing ever happened right here, you know what I mean? Do the dishes so your girl don't gotta do it. It's Valentine's Day. And this is how you know if it's done. Ready? Just one movement. Peace. Serve now. You know, some of y'all may be like, yo, it's not ready now. It's not bad. You're you right. Usually I do a spice here, you know, but I'm a little more health conscious now. I'm almost 30. That stomach cancer thing is real. If you're younger than me and, you're, and your soup doesn't look redder than this, I'm gonna slap you. And that, my friends, is the braised macro. Here you go, baby. Happy Valentine's Day. Can I get it? Can I get it? Thank you. No doubt, no doubt. Peace, 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 peace. I gotta get my.